to Piggy Power and a um, bit of a special this, maybe a two pot special I'm hoping, one for the prep and one for the fun, that's two. And uh, yeah, my mate and I, we're gonna, we were planning last year to go for a bit of a, an off-roading weekend. Uh, he's really into Land Rovers, so much so that he actually owns one. And um, we said, well, let's go for a camping weekend. So I said, that sounds cool. So we organised it for last August, that's August 2020. And then, of course, the virus. So we reorganised it for the end of this August, 2021. And I said, well, what's more fun than two mates in a Land Rover? Well, two mates in two Land Rovers. But I don't really want to own a Land Rover. So I did the right thing. And bought a 306. Which is obviously perfectly suited to off-roading. Now, if you don't know this is a fact, then please go check out up here or up here or down there. Downlogs channel. As he takes these 306s places you wouldn't believe. I do have a problem with 306s, I have many of them. But there's this one. Let's get into the workshop and I'll um, give a little tour around. By the way, this is the cheapest 306 that I could find. Perfect. I'll give you a quick tour of the interior. Yeah, I, I mean, it had... Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, we tested the air conditioning. Guess what? It doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. 85,000 miles. Now, you can't... You could put different clocks in it, but I've checked the history. It is 85,000 miles, but it's not a hard, hard 85,000 miles, or a really easy 84, and the last thousand were really tough. It's missing half the interior. What is in here is, well, slightly ruined. I have so far, though, gained some money back on my 150 pound purchase. We've got 20 pence, 30, 32, 33 pence there. So that's nice. And although they said that the fuel gauge doesn't work, Seems to be working fine to me, so we might just dip the tank and see how much is in there, but that's a lot of fuel. So yeah, there are some bits of the interior missing, and obviously completely ruined, worn. You know, it's had better days. Um, but it's good enough. Who needs a glove box when you're going off-road, eh? Uh, let's, um, let's talk about what we're going to do in the workshop and get on with it. Good things about this car. There's a really... Dicky indicator. Oh, don't worry about that. That's fine. Start on the key. Happy little 1.6 petrol. I hear petrols are really valuable right now. I saw a rally the other day for 13 grand. I'm sure this is worth nearly as much, if not not nearly as much. While waiting for uh, the traffic, I also got this free with it. So there's at least two pounds of eBay junk. Um, power steering is whiny and the clutch is pretty much dead. But someone's put a nice new little top on the gear knob. That's nice. So we do need to sort the clutch out. I don't know if this... Oh, I think it might work. Oh, yeah. Once again, working as ambassador Perfect. for the big... Lunch. Mint. We've got a radio, that'll do. Okay, let's, let's get in the workshop. Well, there she is in all her glory. She's a little bit battle scarred in every place. Um, nice, a little bit of aer aerodynamics, just like horses where they have the little dimples. That's perfect. Um, that door's okay. That bumper's not. Needs a wiper. That definitely is not good. So no. Oh, we've got black alloy wheels this side. Twin tone alloy wheels. That's worth a few bob. Lovely. Yeah, okay, and free bird poo. Brilliant. Okay, so what are we going to do with it? Well, let's um, let's make a plan. Careful, bodywork. Not very good at drawing three or sixes, but you'll 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 forgive me for my amazing artistry. Three or six. We know it's three or six because it says three or six on it. Okay, so. Suspension. We need to go up about 80 mil. 70 to 80 mil. That's my goal. I'm going to do that in two ways. We're going to add some spaces to the rear suspension. We're going to add some spaces on the front suspension and a different strut from the 405 uh, and 305. Apparently, they've got a, a longer strut piece there. We're also going to fit big tyres or bigger tyres. 
that should give us about 15 mil extra from the bigger profile. So knobbly tyres. Knobbly tyres on the front because it's front wheel drive. And on the rear, we're just going to put some slightly bigger tyres on, some cheaper stuff I can find on eBay. I'm going to put a little roof rack on it and some big lights because that's important for off-roading. And then we can put the spare up there and we can put some fuel and make it look cool. We're also going to need to put a snorkel because, you know, if we're going underwater, these are terrible, these Peugeots, because they're sucking up water. And we'll cut the bumpers and take the side skirts off, side skirt delete, and then put a little skid pan on the front to protect the front and the underside from crocs. Now we could put a diff in, that's really expensive. We spent 150 on the 306, and I don't really want to spend more than 350 pounds on it. We do need to do a clutch, and we've got a couple of maintenance things to do that are really boring, so we'll ignore those for now. Why I want to do that? Well, that would be a total of £500, which is one-tenth of the cost of the discovery that my best friend has. And that's fixed. Nice. Shuts just like 306. Right, next job is side skirt delete. That's a special mod that you do on the phase threes. All phase threes came with side skirts. They must have had a plethora of them left over. Well, that's one side done. Bit of an interesting story on this side, so we might just, my wheel, cover that up. We might just call it in time, actually. I don't think anyone's repaired it, but someone's had a go at kind of, I don't know what that is. Clean it up, zizz it up, moving on. Yep. That's, that's, that's totally fine. I mean, that's bad enough. It just would have been nice if they'd carried on with the welds. You know, just, just, that would have been good. Yeah, totally fine. There we're calling that fixed, boys. Yep. If you can't see the rust, then it's not rusting. So, best check how much oil this has got in it, I suppose. It's got M8 oil in it. Hmm. Nope. That's not right. That's definitely not right. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, it's non-genuine parts. Mmm, I like. That don't fit. And fit. Fit. <laughs> sort of fixed. It's sort of fixed. Gross, disgusting, rusty, leaky mess. Yep. I'm calling that fixed. We chucked a bunch of degreaser. Sprayed it all down afterwards as well. Nice OEM plus tape. That's, that's standard from the factory. Just holds everything together. Yes. We might solve on that later with um, a nice snorkel that goes across and some pipe work to go into that, because that's, oh, that's not good. That caused actually most of the leak, just blah, 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 blah. And then we have a dipstick, which sometimes comes out. Need a way to put that up there. Could just screw it straight through the roof, I suppose, but it seemed a little bit too harsh. It's got such a beautiful specimen of French engineering, so roof bars. So that's on there. I mean, I have a feeling that might come off at some point down the road, so let's pop that in next and send some lightning to those lights. This is definitely the right thing to do. Instant regret. So as you can see, all done, all fitted, all wired in. Let me um, show you. There you go. Brightness overload. So what we've managed to do is diagnose that we're missing uh, a bulb or not fitted bulb on the right hand side. Ideal. Otherwise we're burning holes in walls. Super. There we go. That should do the trick just nice. Well, we can't, we can't be having that. 
fixed. Yeah. Well, that suspension height's not going to do, is it? Best fix on that. Annoying, useless, pointless anti roll bar for off roadingness. <laughs> That's fixed. Ruined. Shiny. No grip clutch. Mm, fixed with a 32 pound eBay special. Yeah. And that, that's absolutely fine. You know it's working. You know they're working when you've got that noise. Lucy goosey rubbish pea bushy the wrong angly. Muchos metros. So you can see we've angled it just off, just, 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 just a little bit, just, ooh, ah, oh, just a little bit. Yeah. Hmm, anti roll bar. A delete. That's phase one of the height rising complete. Not as high as we want it yet, not as high as we finished with it yet. Rear's not been touched, obviously. Slam. So here's our little update. We need to raise the rear suspension. So we've yanked out the exhaust and the spare wheel frame and the spare wheel because we're going to put the spare wheel up top because that looks like I'm an off-roader. So underneath all we have to really do, the exhaust will come to later, but we've just unclipped the brake lines and got rid of the heat shield for the exhaust as well because it's just in the way. i get this thing out of the way in a second because he's whacking me on the head. And then we'll unbolt the, uh, the mounts from inside the car drop the axle down and then measure up and cut some spaces like this 80 mil box section quite thick board i think you agree so i think that should do the job just fine and basically we can chop four spaces out of that big bolts big nuts bolted in 80 mil rise and then we'll go for tires which are in there hello reflection so this is what we've come up with for a big lift kit I did search on eBay for awesome mega rear lift kit for Peugeot 306, uh, but they didn't seem to make them. I'm a bit confused by that, I don't see why. So we measured up a bunch of stuff, did a few templates, and this is what we basically come up with. These are sort of the front mounts, which had the twin pin, and we had to put some standoffs because of the way the, uh, the pins work on the original mounts, and then these will go into the body, and these are just the simple rears. Uh, studs are welded in. And then we've got a brace on the back of those main ones just to give them a little bit more strength. I think they're plenty strong enough personally, but we will soon find out. Okay, so there's our little spacers. Over there. Oh, the love of the pixels. Gotta love the pixels. Space is left, space is right, and we're gonna worry about all the strip threads that I have no idea why they occurred. Occurred. So the plan under here, the cables and the um, brake lines all seem to be okay with this, which is nice. The exhaust, I'm hoping to got to repair it anyway. It's blowing at the front end here. I think just loose brackets. I'm going to just a bit of welding, root it over the rear beam rather than under. Uh, so it'll go over into that gap there and then the silence are tucked up nicely out of the way. That should do just fine. Well, it has certainly worked. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to get another 10 mil lift, I think, from the tyres on the rear. And I'm hoping for a 20 mil lift on the front from the tyres also. So it should sort of 10 mil just just kink it just a little bit. But we might have to do something else for the front because she's a bit nose heavy at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. We need to fix that problem. Hmm. Much better. Hmm. This is much better. We've got some mud and snows, some decent tread in 18570 variant for the back, which they were 185.60s. So there's a little bit at the back. And at the front, so we're 185.80s. 14s. Big, chunky, chunkiness. Hmm. It'll do. Those front ones cost me, I think, 50 quid delivered with a pair. Um, questionable how their condition is and how much clearance we have. 
I think we might need to get the grinder out soon. But the level is much better. We'll do a bit of test driving and we'll see what it's like on the front end. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha